I rode, I set. Want to do, do a video, Ann? Ann, want to do a video? Be positive. All right. What's up, Badger Nation? Tony the Badger here. Easy, my Badger. We are in Pennsylvania on PA 325 West. Headed to West Virginia for the night. Just left Jersey this morning. We hit this road and it is beautiful. Look at the water over there. The road's all covered with trees and there's not much traffic. It's just gorgeous. It's like a restricted area and there's really no civilization. It's just nature and it's freaking awesome. Yeah, it is. It's like we're riding down a tunnel, but it's a tunnel with trees. Yeah. I look for these kind of roads, but I'm right. riding. We stumbled across this one. This road is awesome. It is. <laughs> hey, guys. Amy's here, too. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. We just turned it on. To record this, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Amazing. So anyway guys, Pennsylvania is beautiful to ride anyway. But if you can get on Pennsylvania 325 West, I recommend. Oh yeah. I'm looking at the navigation and all on this side is all water. So yeah, we left Jersey this morning, we got a late start. And then my bike not happy, I got rained on last night. So, nope. had to mess with it for a little while. Got it going. It's going great now. And then uh, headed our way to West Virginia. It was going to be a 12 hour day. According to my navigation, we'll get there about 8 30 tonight. We're going to have to stop for gas a couple times. So, maybe 10 o'clock. Or we'll just get tired and stop wherever we want. We don't have to go to any particular town tonight. We were talking to Austin last night at the table, Niagara the Cruise, and they had just gone on a on a trip where they didn't plan it out. They just got on the bike and took the road and rode it. Stay the night someplace that planned. That's the next day, wrote it. But now they know exactly what we're going through. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, we say it in every video. And it's the great so true with us. It's not about the destination. It's all about the ride. Just getting on and finding a new road to ride or finding a new state to ride. Um, man, this, this world is so vast and there's just so much to explore. And to do it on the back of uh, on the back of a motorcycle on two wheels just adds that much more to it. I highly recommend. Good morning, Badger Nation. I'm Tony the Badger. I'm Easy Tony the Badger. And we got Bo Badger back there hanging out. I think she's back there. Amy, are you back there? Right now. No, I don't think she is. Oh, okay. Well, Badger is not back there. I was incorrect. All right. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd give us a quick intro. We are leaving Somerset. Is that what we say? Yep. Somerset, PA. Uh, unbeknownst to us, we pulled into last night and got the last hotel room in town because it's 15 minutes away from the crash site of Flight 93, and today is 9-11. Where so, were you 20 yeah. years ago? 20 years ago, we were in California with the whole family. My oldest daughter, Neve, was like six months old, and um, we were staying with uh, Angie's grandma in California. By the way, did not have any kind of TV service. So once we heard about what happened, we were at her house with rabbit ears trying to pick up a TV reception so we could 
figure out what was going to happen. We were like, how are we going to get home? All the airports were closed. And it was a wild time. And then we were getting ready to head to San Francisco. Um, and everybody's like, well, San Francisco may be next. They're attacking monuments. So you don't want to go near the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, so it was a wild time. But we ended up going to the Golden Gate Bridge anyway. We walked out the trash with a six-month-old strap to my belly all day. Yeah. You were a good dad. The trooper. I remember. That's probably the worst my back has hurt that I can ever remember. <laughs> After a day of carrying her yes, for hours. <laughs> hours of Alcatraz. And people don't even know you had a baby strap to you because right. you had your jacket over the top. And she was all snug and soft. Left the entire time. Oh, yeah. Oh. She was such a good baby. She could sleep through anything, anytime, anywhere. So it's a little chilly this morning. It was in the 50s. No, in the 40s when we got up this morning. So Mama Badger has 18 layers on. They only have six on the top and three on the bottom, I think. Long sleeve shirt, hoodie, flannel, leather jacket, and a rain coat. Yeah. I'm surprised she could even move. So we are headed to, well, still headed to Missouri today. I figure we're probably going to get just past Indianapolis before we stop today. All back roads again, so I expect to see. Roads like this pretty much all day. What you said, like 50 miles on this one. We're 50 miles on this road right here. We're going to go probably 425 today or so. Last night we saw probably 15 deer in a field. That was beautiful. That awesome sunset as we pulled into town. We pulled in, I opened up my app to get a room. It says all rooms booked. I'm like, crap. It was getting cold. We didn't want to travel anymore. Walked in and talked to the dude, and he's like, we literally have one room left, two queen beds, and it's and yours. And a handicap. And it's a handicap. And it's yours. I was like, that is awesome. And Yay. he's like, and you probably got the only one in town, and then he told me the whole story. I was like, oh, wow. I had no idea. I mean, I guess the president... Possibly, I don't know for sure. The vice president. That's the big wigs are rolling into town today. And while it be cool to go check it out. Yeah, because everybody's asking us, hey, you ride down to the memorial? And uh, there's going to be a shit ton of people there. I still see how we can make it work into the place. Our schedule, that we, yeah, because it would take pretty much all day to do that. Yeah. Yeah, he is late. We've been on the road since July 30th, and it is now September 11th. Yep, that's crazy, huh? And we're still a month away from getting home. Yeah. But, man, the things we've done, the country we've seen, the friends we've made, Having the time of my life. Makes me want to start singing Dirty Dancing. <laughs> oh, Amy's here now, guys. Hey, guys. I was having a moment. Oh, it's just... It's just hard being in this area. That's more. This is weird. <laughs> it's a weird setup too. It's like they wanted a roundabout, but just couldn't quite do it. Oh, that's a rough one. Thanks, Sally. 
Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you need to repeat that on your camera. That guy was asking for Mustang Sally's. <laughs> All right, guys, so right here is Welcome to Pennsylvania. And over here... Hey, that one. <laughs> Welcome to Pennsylvania on that sign. And we're turning around. We're going to turn around, and then we're going to be in West Virginia, right? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Slow motion. West Virginia. <laughs> I need mean, to right on it. West Virginia All right. right there. I'm good. Hey, look, guys, it's West Virginia. <laughs> it's wild and wonderful. West Virginia. Woohoo! Wild and wonderful. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks, guys. So that worries me a little bit because I didn't think we were going through West Virginia. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check our route. So, Amy has never been to West Virginia. Now, Amy has been West to West Virginia when we didn't think we were going to go through West Virginia. <laughs> Go figure that one out, guys. <laughs> Andy, Tim, and Doug. So, question, are we all going to go through at once? Because there's a cop behind me. Yeah. Yeah. We all three stop. We all three go. And he's going right. He hey. Doesn't, he doesn't care at all. So, Mom, Dad, I'm waving. Mandy, Tim, uh, Mandy the machine, and I found Tim. Don't forget, keep up, Bob. Cemetery. Cemetery. And keep up, Bob. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. No, I put in Champaign, Illinois as a stop, and it's along this route, so we're good, I guess. There you go. Now we got an actual photo picture for us. What bridge is this? Here we go. It's the London Bridge. Let's hope it don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> London Bridge. Oh, it's one of these. You can Ooh. see down. They're oh. hard to ride on, though. They are hard to ride on. Oh, my gosh. You can see, like, all the way down. Oh, yeah. If you look down, you can see water below you. For all you that ride with all us, over you the can place. look all the way through this bridge and see the water, and then the uh, metal kind of makes your bike wobble. <laughs> Wobbling. This is kind of creepy. I like it, though. Look at that bridge over there. It's pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah. Now it says, Welcome to Ohio. So we just passed into Ohio. Oh, wow. Going over the bridge. So we just hit a corner of West Virginia, now we're in Ohio. All right, guys, well, welcome to Ohio. This is the third state we've been in today. You say we're in Ohio? Yep. It's, yes. It's we're better. in Ohio? Yeah. We just passed Ohio. into Ohio. <laughs> we were just through three states, like, real quick. Yep. <laughs> there we go. That's a cute, cool mural. Wow, that uh, is. Go, go, go. People park in front of park, it. Park, 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 park. What? Park. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, calm. Calm. Calm down. You need to move that van. Right. <laughs> Where are you going? Parking over there? Yep. Where am I supposed to be going? Down that road. Oh. It will yeah. only take a little bit. A right. little bit, yep. Well, things only take a little bit, and then it's 9 o'clock, and it's cold, and we're not in the hotel. Not cold. Sunny, this is the reason why we ride, is to do stuff like this. We don't ride to get to a fucking hotel. We ride to enjoy the ride. Look where we stopped at. Big old mural. And there's even more. Oh, look, there's wings over there. What's up, Master Nation? So, we're 48 minutes out from our hotel, and we are in the middle of nowhere. There is no traffic. There is 
a lot of gravel. There are stop signs. There are red flashing lights out over the horizon. I'm pretty sure the aliens are coming. Here comes the midnight flag. We hope you can see the road better than we can. So. <laughs> we are just uh, walking through here and uh, traveling down this one-lane, two-lane road. And a half-lane? One and a half-lane road. We do know that a truck and three lights can meet each other and be okay. Oh, my shadow scared me. Your light shining through put my shadow up there on the... Look, I look like a big, huge motorcycle riding down the road. Can you see it? Yeah. I hope, the, I, hope, I hope the video can see it. it. Looks like there's a huge motorcyclist up ahead of me, like clearing my path. Anyway, guys, I have no idea if you can see anything. But I thought... I don't want to interrupt your video, but I've seen a couple deer on the side, on the right <laughs> side, so we are so sucking at looking for I just wanted to let you know that probably, I don't know if we should slow down or what, but I've seen them pick, poking their heads up, so. This girl has eagle eyes. <laughs> I, I've been told that I have really good eyes, so. Gravel. Ah. Well, these hills obviously have eyes because you're seeing them. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> so creeps me out. What was that movie? I don't remember that movie. Go on. Yeah, you just have to watch it. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember much about it. I remember watching it. I it was know. about some some people that got stuck in the hills, and they came across some other people that back in the day had like there, there was radiation around the area or whatever and it got in their bodies or something and then they were all like weird uh, and then they like tried to kill the people and eat them right they're cannibals it was, it was bad and they stole the lady's baby and yeah it was I don't even want to repeat some of the things that they did whoa more red lights now yeah. wow they're all around us. <laughs> yes, they are. Up on the road. I see it. It's a lie. No, it's not a shit. Uh, it was a raccoon. I was like, oh, God, it's going to run my way. <laughs> Actually, I've had that happen to me before. Yeah? Yeah, I thought it was dead, so I was going to straddle it with our magnum when I had the magnum. Yeah. And it poked its head up at the last minute, and it hit my car. <laughs> and for two weeks, I didn't realize anything happened to my car and I was walking out into the parking garage to get in my car to leave after work and I'm like holy shit someone hit my car <laughs> and I got home I told Josh about it and he's like there's no way you just hit something or somebody hit you like that that was like something hit you like an animal and I'm like oh my gosh it was that raccoon he's like what raccoon <laughs> it's like, why didn't you go around it? And I said, I thought it was dead in the road and it was all bloated. <laughs> and at the last minute, I poked his head up and I hit him. <laughs> so when I worked at Toyota, um, we got a car in, oh, put it up oh. on the rack, and yes. we're looking at it, and it comes from a body shop. And they're like, just let us know what all it needs. And so we're under there, and there's Hold all on. this blood and in and hair. What? Yeah. Like they'd hit an animal. They'd actually hit a human and nobody no. killed him. So some guy had jumped off a bridge <gasps> in the traffic and killed himself and that was the car involved in the accident. And nobody what? and nobody told us. That's horrible. It was it was pretty bad. You remember oh that? Oh my Ed? gosh. Yes I do. How could I forget that? Imagine running over a body. No. This is white. They must be those wind turbines. I don't know what else they would have that many of in that close of an area. 28 miles left. 12 on this road.
Oh, there is a wind turbine right there. It is, yeah. Yep, that's what they are. Wind turbines. So guys, if you can see all those red flashing lights, those are all wind turbines. But he has confirmed it is wind turbine. <laughs> it has been confirmed. I haven't seen a welcome to Indiana notification yet. So I don't know if we are in Indiana or if we're in Ohio still. I think we're in Indiana. Because in 10 minutes, it's IN-67. Ah, yeah. We are Indiana, people. We are in Portland, Indiana. Okay. Oops, sorry. What are you doing? Another one. You know what's really creepy is those wind turbines, they're huge, right? And I looked at that one that's not very far from me and I could barely see it. Something that big, that close to me, and I could hardly see it. What do you say? You hate to be walking around and get head chopped off by one of them? And there could be like an alien ship sitting over here and I couldn't see the motherfucker. Not cemetery to the right. That would be number eight. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Two more to make a hundred. I thought for sure we'd hit a hundred by the time we got to the hotel. Got a half an hour yet. Good morning, Badger Nation. We are headed to Missouri today. Leaving Muncie, Indiana right now. We got in pretty late last night. Holiday Inn was booked. Nobody stayed at the number now. And instead of a queen bed, we slept in a, I think it's a full size bed. Double? Oh, a double bed. I don't know if it's like a double for two tiny people, but definitely not a double for two normal size people. Anyway, we've got about 500 miles to knock out today, about 12 hours worth of ride. Mama Badger's back here, Mo Badger back there in the house. I guess it's too early for anybody to say good morning. I think that everybody thinks he just is by himself. They don't have to see us. Or behind him. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. They're back there. I feel like this is a lot of what we're going to see today. Lots of fields. Lots of back rooms. Anything too exciting, probably not very windy, not very hilly. Yeah, did he have any flat? I have no idea. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. There's a hill. There you go, there's a hill. <laughs> we did some interesting rides last night, though, in the middle of the night. It was fun, though. Going through the cornfield and all these red flashing lights. talking about scary movies. Right? <laughs> Alright guys, so a little recap of yesterday. We, um, what are the highlights? We got, we, we rode the shortest street in the U.S. in America. Got a picture there. We, um, ate at a really cool barbecue joint in that same town. I have it on video. We rode past the oldest concrete road in America, in that same town. Let's see. We uh, went through three states in a matter of like a mile. From Pennsylvania to West Virginia to Ohio. Went over a sketchy metal bridge that you can see through. That was fun. Oh, that's cool. Can you guys see that? I'm talking to the camera. What else? 
all the cornfields. Yeah. We are literally in the middle of nowhere with cornfields all around. Not even traffic. <laughs> and this is why we ride. So what a sunset. Yeah. Oh, beautiful sunset. Saw a lot of groundhogs yesterday. Oh yeah. What is the what is the road and now the sun is like there's something in the road. Like would you go around it? Yeah, this it and they just got up and just walked off. I was like <laughs> I saw that. So I was telling Angie last night, so we went through this small town and there's like five dudes standing in the front yard all talking, having a beer. We go riding by and they all raise their beer to us. That shit don't happen in a car. You know what I love about these small towns? I mean, look at all the flags all the way down the road. And that's done by the city. The big, yeah. city, the big towns and stuff don't do crap like that. Pennsylvania was amazing. Yep. It was so patriotic. Every town. All the light, the street lights had pictures. Turn left. Every single one of them. Yep. Made to be all united and all of them do that. That's it, just, it was called Hometown Heroes and it had a picture of a of a military vet um, and their name. Yeah. So Amy. Yeah. So, like, been like no other for you, huh? What? This trip has been like no other for you, huh? Yeah. Perfect. So do you guys think we're done seeing the Amish? Uh, well, I know we're going to Missouri, so no. All right, guys, so we're about halfway through our trip today. We were still in Illinois, and um, we just stopped and had lunch in the parking lot of Casey. We had a taco pizza from Casey. It was good. Anyway, how'd I check in? We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. 
I would see that you pass it over twice. I'm like, we're going to pass over it again. And then sure enough. <laughs> riding behind the trailer. <laughs> We're in front of. We're in front, yeah. Just as long as you put this dinner on and you guys can talk. Yeah. Yeah. Where is helmet? <laughs> we've, we've done that before. When I first started riding, I went to South Dakota. He, brought, he took my theory out of the trailer so I could ride in front of him. It's funny, we've gotten to be so many people in Missouri, and but it was like, I don't know if it was the second or third largest state that had the uh, most participants in the world record poker run. Right. The next will be us going to Bike Fest. Lake of the Ozark, 15th through the 19th. The 19th? So, we're going to stay with uh, Carl Cook, he's got a 10 bedroom place, and uh, thank you to him for having the badger Tim. and I found us some roomies, you guys will get to meet them, and I'll get to introduce you to them whenever I push them, stay tuned for that video. And right now we're headed to my girlfriend's house. It's about it's best in the city, and I'm about 30 minutes from Lake of the Ozarks, and I get to spend. Oh, there's the road. Oh, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday with her. Her family. Oh no, this is one of the top top states that I love now. <laughs> Hey, you got a, you got something to announce too. What? We just passed. How many miles? Oh, yes, we passed ten thousand miles, you guys. Sorry, yeah. we just <laughs> since July thirtieth. Yes, since July thirtieth, we have gone ten thousand. We got more to go. All right, guys. So like motorcycle vehicles, like motorcycle vehicles, motorcycle videos, <laughs> like this. <laughs> well, I feel like motorcycle vehicles too. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you like motorcycle vehicles like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and you can ring the bell <laughs> so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. I 
blow your ears out. I wish I could be louder. <laughs> nice try. You're loud. See ya. See ya. Baby. See ya. <laughs> That was fun.